Good morning or afternoon, depending on where you are at the moment. And welcome to the 26th episode of Shopify Crypto Nights. Hi, Mick. Good to see you again. Hello. Likewise, Temu. Likewise. The most interesting part of the episode could be the tip of the week that you can give us without spoiling the content we're, we're actually going to do in the episode. But what's the tip of the week for week 26? Great. Tip of the week is following. Most of you have had some campaigns this season. It might be Signals Day, it might be Black Friday, it might be Cyber Monday or even something else. And if you have done the campaign right in many B2C and direct to consumer cases, you have gotten lots of traffic to a specific landing page. Uh, hopefully as many as possible would purchase and you would uh, acquire lots of uh, those clients that have uh, high customer lifetime value. However, not all will purchase. And then the thing is that should I actually benefit out of that traffic somehow? So if you have a specific landing page, you can create an audience based on that on, on Facebook and then using that Facebook audience for your upcoming campaign, either your holiday campaign or if you have a campaign coming in January or, or early February, you might want to use that traffic and to sweeten the deal, offer some small discount, free shipping or whatever. So then you will actually utilize all the traffic that you were able to get into the store during your huge campaign and uh, that's a, a pretty practical tip that's cool that's that's what i plan to do i'm gonna capitalize with the, the traffic that i've been having with not campaigns but with good content and really do kind of focused retargeting for for those people when we're gonna out, go out next week actually already or the uh, the black mm -hmm. week campaigns might even cheat and we're going to do a BIP campaign already this weekend. So we're recording this episode on the 18th of, of November. So Black Friday is, is getting real close. Right. For the uh, the episode today, we're going to be talking about Omnichannel and, and more specifically, we're going to be talking about Shopify POS. So we, we do have a lot of customers that are selling omni-channel meaning that they have a brick and mortar shop they might have several retail locations they might do pop-up stores they might do events like exhibitions or fairs so uh, i think there's the uh, the interesting thing is that the uh, the point of sale system or the software just got upgraded by shopify and i think it might have been a, a surprise for some of the people, but what do you think, Mick, where we should start the other conversation? Definitely. So they, they changed the POS system. So actually, Tim, what changed? What does this mean? Uh, we've had some merchants who have been a bit of un unaware of the change. And now it would be a good time to have a recap. What does this mean? And just this being told, I would I would sort of like drag our clients to do different baskets. There is this one basket that is using Shopify posts in you know, on daily basis in their their outlets. So they have, as example, thirty stores or five stores, and they are using Shopify POS solutions there. What does it mean for them? And then there is this other basket, mainly. Um, bit different type of merchants, smaller brands or, or growing D2C brands, which don't have that many own physical locations. And they are using that part of their Christmas sale campaign or, or when they are doing uh, exhibitions or stuff like that. And they are using POS on, on like less regular basis. So what does it then mean for these merchants? Well, obviously the, the biggest change was kind of two things change the before I think this, this change was introduced in, in October, uh, by the end of October or early, early November. So it's a pretty new change. And previously Shopify POS used to be free for all merchants. So it didn't matter what Shopify plan you had, you could basically, uh, add in the, uh, the POS as a jail channel, you could go into the app store and then just download the app log in with your Shopify credentials and you were basically good to go and start selling on any retail location. For customers in, in Europe or at least in the Nordics, the 
POS hardware isn't available here, meaning that no matter what you do with it, you're going to need a external card reader, you're going to need a, a Bluetooth barcode reader and, and a receipt machine if you want to have those. So we've been kind of focusing on, on the POS as it itself and not, not kind of the devices around the system. But there's actually a list, a hardware list that's that's compatible with the POS available on the, uh, the Shopify POS site. So if you're kind of looking to see the, uh, the hardware or choose the correct ones. But yeah, back to the topic. So it used to be free, but uh, there are now two versions. So I'm, I'm cheating out of the, uh, the point of sales website as I'm talking now. So there's the, uh, the light version, which is still free. So if you are doing the occasional pop-ups, you don't run a retail location all the time, six days a week, then you can still use the uh, the POS slide version. It's I haven't actually seen the light version. I've seen the uh, the pro version. So I'm I'm guessing the light is kind of a sim bit more simplified version of the uh, the POS that it used to be. You can kind of still manage products and orders. You can still have customer profiles in the POS and you can kind of do the transactions. You can then kind of see all the sales in, in your Shopify backend, even from those pop-up type of, of sales as well, which is a good thing. And then they kind of, well, not surprisingly, I think there's been, I don't know, tens of, of thousands or hundreds of thousands of Shopify POS users. So obviously Shopify wants to make some money with the, the point of sale as well. So the uh, the pro version, which is basically for for merchants that do have retail locations, they have brick and mortar shops, so they have a physical locations where people go every day and then buy stuff. So for for those customers, uh, they basically need to have the uh, the pro version. And the biggest change now is that the pro version it's paid version. So the price is $89 per month. Uh, there are no commissions. So like compared to the, uh, the online plan, Shopify isn't taking any commission out of the POS sales. But with $89, you're going to get kind of top in the class uh, point of sale system. You're going to get features that are only available in the pro version, like staff, staff uh, accounts you can have Features like smart inventory management. I'm really not sure what that actually means. We need to be deep, deeper into it. We can have the uh, the staff roles and permissions. Uh, as I understand with the uh, the pro version, if you have one online store, I think you can then kind of have unlimited amount of POS devices attached to the uh, the, uh, the the online store as well and you will get some kind of in-store analytics function as, as, as well. But again, the biggest change was that now we have the two versions and merchants that are running retail locations all the time, they will need to go, though they will need to have the, uh, the paid version, which is called the, uh, the POS Pro. Right. And maybe I, sh I should add some like comments from the field. I was just like talking with several of our merchants who are using the solution. So why should you even like bother with Shopify Pass? Is it any good? What does it do? So, so the the take that I had with with clients uh, talking with with half a dozen just like uh, past two weeks is that they are very happy with Shopify Pass. Um, it's like uh, working well. Uh, it's 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 fairly easy to use when you get uh, get the, get the grip to understand that okay, this is not the typical. Uh, cash system. Uh, this is a bit different, but it gives you certain like benefits and and with with like proper tools and proper training, it's like um, amazing. And and the feedback we've received, it is like this is the future now, uh, which is like always nice to hear that. Okay, it's it's really working for you. Um, they some have experienced some issues uh, times to times. Especially one thing to to consider is uh, is is to have the good connections at, at the physical store or location. So meaning like. Wi-Fi connections and stuff like that, so um, that's that's pretty pretty important and why to want to highlight that. Um, but other than that, they are like fairly happy. And then talking about the, like the benefits, um, 
one actual core benefit is that then you can target those people who have operated in your your POS locations. So you get all the like the Shopify amazing data behind that, and then you are able to do like targeted marketing uh, for those those audiences. And if you run some some advertising campaigns for those those people, you can do those like super targeted. And and the best of all, you can then do a comparison of your physical location clients with your online clients um, and see if if there are like duplicates or even if those those profiles are like similar or different which then uh, uh, by all the additional data uh, gives you a much greater picture of what's actually happening i can give you an example of our client they did that kind of a, a study and and as example they found out that in their physical locations they are like roughly one third more male male clients than, than female clients um, and that's something that even the, the persons in their physical locations hadn't reported before because they had no view on what's happening with, with their online store. So uh, that was sort of like a surprise even for the, the upper and highest management that they didn't notice. And, and they had had some like super good campaigns. They just did like single stay also in physical location with different deals. And now we, they already knew that who are the, who are the people they did a super targeted uh, ad campaign which was actually, by the way, killing it. So uh, definitely uh, having all of the data from your physical locations and your online location under like sort of like one roof is a huge benefit when you look at data, uh, targeting and understanding your clients and, and the segments better. As example, you can do a comparison that what's the difference between average order value in physical locations uh, and your, your Shopify plus store, or then you can compare that what's happening in different countries or different physical locations that are they possibly like different kind of uh, customer segments operating there, which is like, uh, I don't know, as, as a former merchant, I wouldn't be more happy to have such data because it helps me to make make better business. Exactly. And, and I would probably kind of, if you are considering about using the POS or even considering about the benefits that you might have, I would kind of first think about the real omni-channel approach that we can offer to our customers, meaning that features like gift cards, if you are using an, like a legacy POS system, then you basically have no chance to have gift cards working in both channels, in retail and also online. With Shopify POS, that's like a given thing. You don't have to care about them. You can really serve the customer better. If they come to the retail location, something isn't available there, you can basically put in the, uh, the customer order into the POS device and it part or all of the items are available there you can basically have them shipped to the customer but they can do the other uh, transaction they can pay at the retail location so you don't kind of have to have them hanging and then going through a shopify checkout later on and the other part is is obviously the other uh, data that you can kind of go really on the next level in the uh, the marketing that you do with the data that's kind of kind of be coming from the POS and also kind of the the management side data that you have one single view in your Shopify storage backend where you can log in and kind of see what's happening in different locations, what's happening in, in total sales. Uh, are we getting the customers? Are we getting the sales in any one of those channels or how the kind of combined sales data looks from, from all of the channels? So in my kind of point of view if you are doing business that's kind of not generating thousands of, of transactions like like in a supermarket per day then i would really find hard to kind of use anything else than a shopify pos because it's kind of it's a it's a package that's, that's kind of having all those key elements in place and an $89 per month it's it's a reasonable fee compared to the amount that you would have to spend to integrate a kind of a whole new POS system to Shopify which might cost really a lot of money right and I exactly love your last comment because that was something that we we talked with a big brand client last week so Shopify POS can also be used as sort of a risk management tool because these days, if you look at Omnisanal as, as such, 
that was probably one of the biggest hyped worlds last year. And this year, you know, the beginning of the year, no one was almost talking about Omnichannel. And now they are sort of like talking about that bit more, but that's still not like uh, as hyped as it was last year. We don't know what will happen uh, in 2021 quite. So that might be one of the reasons uh, people focused more on, on, on direct to consumer, which is from our point of view, amazing. But if you look at the situation that, hey, I want to have some physical locations in 2021, um, I want to do them as flexible as possible. I don't want to pay rent for the whole year. I want to do pop-ups. I want to be very flexible because of the uncertainty. Then actually like Shopify POS is amazing solution for you. Uh, so uh, that goes very well along with these like unpredicted times. Absolutely. I think the uh, the omni channel will be kind of back on the table actually pretty soon. With again, depending where you are living at the moment, you might be in a whole lockdown situation. But as we already saw, kind of pretty early on in the, in the spring before the uh, the summer started, that people were kind of going back into the retail locations as well. And kind of, I don't think that this is going to be thing that will will change any any time near in the future. Online will grow really rapidly in the next years, but retail locations, if you kind of build the uh, business setup right and you kind of offer extra value for your brand customers in the retail locations, those can be served really well if you are using the correct devices. And, and we believe that Shopify POS, it's the way to go for, for most of you out there. Definitely. I think we're done with the, uh, the POS talk, but we're going to be back in a week with a whole new topic. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.